Hey there, welcome to the Old Computer Museum channel and this is a Amiga 500 game on a real machine. You can actually hear it loud. So this is a game um, called Spy vs. Spy or Spy vs. Spy if you want. Spy vs. Spy is a very very a nice game I played a lot when I was younger on the Commodore 64 version and uh, if you look at our channel we have the Commodore 64 version reviewed and this is the Amiga 500 version of Spy vs. Spy and so this is Man Magazine's um, kind of uh, cartoons that was transformed into a game in the 80s this is a 1984 game, it's a single or multiplayer, which is pretty cool and original. Uh, that's why you see two screens, the top and the bottom screen. Um, basically you have, you control one of the spies, you have to find all of the treasures in the different uh, places in each room. And so, when you found everything, you will basically have uh, finished and you take a plane and leave. So, basically it's the first one that finishes the game that finds all the parts that are uh, missing. But what's interesting about this game is the fact that it is a uh, multiplayer game. So, even if you play alone, you play against a computer. And you can actually booby trap some of the locations so that when the other spy gets there well he'll die and you'll lose some time and also you'll gain more time in watching everything you can also of course fight with the opponent which is another nice feature so uh, this game is fun playing alone but it's even more fun playing with some friends so this is a, a 1984 game and it, re it released by First Star Software. The Amiga version was published by Wicked Software. Platforms on which it is available is the Acorn, Electron, the Amiga, the Amstrad CPC, the Apple II, Atari 8-bit, Atari ST, BBC Micro, the Commodore 16, the Commodore 64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, MSX, Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sharp X1, ZX Spectrum, and it's available also on iOS. I actually have this game on my iPhone. So, uh, really, really cool game to play. This game was extremely uh, innovative because it was a first having a split-screen game and um, having two players at the same time on the same screen was really really original at the time and the gameplay is actually really fun What's also interesting is that you're in basically what is an embassy and you can see total number of rooms, uh, traps available, minutes on the clock. You can change all of those and actually make the game even more fun with bigger rooms and uh, actually by having bigger, uh, having more rooms, sorry, in the um, the building really makes it even more compli complex and you can actually have multi-level so uh, it's pretty pretty cool and the more rooms you have the more it's difficult to find all the parts you need and the more it is challenging of course as you can see I give Spy Z Spy for the Amiga 500 a score of 9 out of 10 
it is really worth it, its score of 9 out of 10. I think this is one of the really, really good games of the 80s. And um, even the Commodore 64 version was really excellent. Actually, when you look at the graphics here, uh, there's not really much improvement over the Commodore uh, 64 version. I believe they just, you know, took what they had, transformed it for whatever machine. So all machines probably have a pretty much the same look to it. So this is Spy Vs. Spy for the Commodore 64, uh, so Commodore 64, sorry, for the Amiga 500. I'm thinking about my Commodore 64 when I used to play with it. Um, so this is the Amiga 500 version of Spy Vs. Spy. If you enjoyed these old games, old consoles, well, uh, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informing new videos online. We have lots of emulation stuff. Uh, hey, if you have any comments or questions, or maybe you play this game and want to give your own comments or appreciation, or maybe you didn't like it, let us know. It's always uh, interesting to have your comments. And uh, take a look at the other videos we have online. We have real machines like the Amiga 500, the Atari ST. We have uh, lots of emulation stuff with the uh, Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, Counter 64, Atari 2600 VCS, and much, much, much more coming up. So, uh, hey, I think uh, you should uh, stay tuned to the old Computer Museum channel. And hope you come back. Bye-bye. <laughs>